Hi everyone, welcome to the online lecture History of Japan. This is Toei Subway Hamachou Station in Tokyo. Around here, you see modern buildings. Long, long time ago, animals that don't exist today in Japan were here. This is a sign that tells you about it. What's that? Stay tuned! In the last video, I talked about these topics. In addition, I want to talk about the spin off topic creatures. Let's start right away. According to Jamstack, the Ice Age and the Interglacial Age repeated about every 100,000 years. Depending on temperature, the sea level moved up and down and changed the shape of the Japanese archipelago. This phenomenon naturally affected the ecosystem. As I mentioned, there was a time when the Japanese archipelago was close to the Eurasian continent. Same as humans, so many kinds of creatures also migrated to Japan. Dinosaurs too. Like other countries, fossils of them were found throughout Japan. At the end of this video, I'll show you a list of museums that exhibit dinosaur fossils. If you have interest, please check. Let's talk about animals. There were huge mammals in Japan. Species of elephant called Naumanzo lived in warm climates, moved from south to Japan about 360,000 years ago and lived up to 28,000 years ago. Fossils were found here and there, even in Tokyo. That's exactly where I showed you at the beginning of this video. Naumanzo were here. In the spring of 1976, fossils of three elephants were discovered 22 meters underground at the construction site near this station. Wow! Here is a sign that I was hiding. Naumanzo was named to commemorate the work of Dr. Nauman, who was the first to study elephant fossils in Japan. Remember his name? He was the godparent of Fossil Magna. Mammoths inhabited cold climate like Siberia migrated to Japan and lived here from about 46,500 to 17,500 years ago. Fossils of Naumanzo and mammoths have been found in Hokkaido, and it is thought that the two species may have coexisted about 46,500 to 28,000 years ago. Many elephant fossils have been found in Japan. Some of those were found close to arrowheads made of stones. It can be seen that people were hunting elephants. Speaking of hunting, fishing hook made by scraping the bottom of a real shells used about 23,000 years ago were found in Okinawa in 2016. This is believed to be the oldest in the world so far. The excavated art crafts include scrapers and bees made of seashells indicating that a culture existed in which shells were broken and polished with sandstone to make a variety of tools and ornaments. About other creatures exist in Japan, two young men made great discovery in 1964. Guess what they found? The answer is crocodile. Can you believe it? Almost perfect full body fossils of crocodile was found in Toyonaka City, Osaka Prefecture. Scientists presume it was about 7 meter length and 1.3 ton weight. Research shows that it lived 450,000 years ago. The crocodile is called Machikane Wani, named after the place the fossils were found. After this unbelievable discovery, fossils of crocodiles lived in different periods were found in different places. In Osaka area, the fossils of crocodiles older than Machikane Wani were found in Kishiwada and Takatsuki. These are the places where the fossils of crocodiles were found. In particular, fossils dating back about 20 million years were discovered on the Oki Islands in Shimane Prefecture. 
and fossils of a primitive 120 million year old crocodilian species have been discovered in Katsuyama, Fukui Prefecture. About 170 years ago, a samurai living on Amami Oshima recorded that the residents had caught a crocodile. Years later, it happened again. In 1974, a crocodile was found on a rock southeast of the islands. In 2017, two small crocodiles were found in Kakero Majima, right next to Amami Oshima. So, crocodiles still alive in Japan? Nope, they appear to have drifted across the ocean from Southeast Asia. But, once upon a time, crocodiles lived in Japan. In addition to elephants and crocodiles, rhinoceros existed in Japan, and even species of tigers. Ancient Japan was just like wildlife safari. It goes without saying that multi-phase verification based on archaeology, linguistics, mythology, etc. is of course important for deeper understanding of ancient history. To derive the fact about the history of the birth of Japan, the origin of our ancestors, and the tools they used, and the creatures that once lived, we'll still need to wait for further discovery by gathering state-of-the-art scientific technology like geophysics, geology, genetics, and so on. See what will happen. Never-ending journey continues. Japan travel tips. I want to show you some places I've shown in this video. Amami Oshima. The islands are located in the south of Japan. This area is subtropical oceanic climate. Temperatures are basically warm throughout the year. Average temperature in summer is about 28 centigrade and in winter is about 15 centigrade. It rains a lot. Fun activities here include forest walk, marine activities such as snorkeling and scuba diving, and kayaking through the mangroves. Delicious local meals there are also part of fun. My recommendation is keihan, finely torn chicken, dried shiitake, kinshi tamago, papaya pickled in miso, and etc. on white rice topped with chicken broth is so delicious. Beautiful traditional crafts of textile called Oshima Tsumugi is used for kimono, purse, and small items. It's a wonder that such beautiful crafts can be made from mud dyeing. By plane, it takes about two and a half hours from Tokyo and about two hours from Osaka. Next, the latest information about Shinkansen. This is the present route map of Shinkansen all over Japan. New extended route between Kanazawa and Tsuruga will start service on this coming March 16, 2024. Eventually, the line will be extended to Kyoto and Shin Osaka in near future. It's gonna be very convenient to travel around Japan. This is an enlarged map of the new route, and let's mention about places to visit around there. Sabae City produces more than 90% of all eyeglasses distributed in Japan. Very high quality. There is Megane Museum that tells you about the history of eyeglasses making in Sabae. You can participate in a workshop to make your own glasses. Of course, you can buy your glasses at the store. In this video, I talked about a primitive crocodile fossil from 120 million years ago that was found in Katsuyama, Fukui Prefecture. Fukui is very famous for dinosaur fossils, and there is Fukui Prefectural Dinosaur Museum in Katsuyama. Near the museum, there is a place called Field Station, where visitors can learn about excavation of dinosaur fossils through hands-on experience. Sounds fun! At west exit of Fukui Station, 
There are dinosaur statues. They move and roar. Finally, here is the list of the museums of dinosaur in Japan. That's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time.